welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having an amazing day, whatever you are up to. Welcome to the Pride Edition Glossy Box. How amazing is this box? Because it's the Pride Edition and Pride is all about beautiful bright colours and celebrating everybody, I thought that I would wear some sparkly crazy makeup because I felt like it. I was very, very inspired by the box and I've used quite a few of the products that are inside the box. So let's get straight into the box and I will show you what's inside this month. So the first thing that I want to show you is the beautiful packaging inside. I love this little rainbow ribbon, it is so so cute. In fact, I love it that much that I didn't even open it to get the contents of the box out. So the box is actually empty at the moment because I just wanted to leave it looking nice and pretty to show you on the video. Anyway, let me show you what's inside. Actually, I'm racing ahead. First of all, I'm going to read you what it says on the little card. So it says here, we're a glossy community that stand together and embrace individuality. Our special design pride box is filled with six full-size products, which are all tailored to help you feel empowered, bold, and unique. Express yourself with an intense, cruelty-free eyeshadow from a brand who encourage diversity and self-expression, a blindingly bright highlighter, and some Victoria's Secret style pampering. We promote vibrancy, love, and liberty in our international glossy community. So glosses, let's celebrate. Hashtag love is love. So here's the first item that comes in the box and this is from Trifle Cosmetics which is a brand that I really really love and this is the Leak Leak. No it isn't. This is the Lip and Cheek Jam. I think I was combining lip and cheek so you get the Leak Jam. Oh, that sounds horrific. Anyway, lip and cheek jam. This is 78% water-based and 99% natural. So once you open the pack, this is what's inside. It's a little glass bottle here, and then you have a little pipette style um, applicator there with the jam on it. This is a really nice thick consistency, but when it actually goes onto your skin, it feels very watery and very, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? It's very thin, it's not thick on your lips. Now, I haven't used this on my cheeks yet, but I have used it on my lips and I've been really enjoying it. It reminds me very, very much of Benetint. It's the same sort of um, vibe as that, but it's a much more gel-like formula. The Benetint's quite runny, this is a little bit thicker. Very, very nice, lasts all day long. I wore it on my lips and put a little bit of lip balm over the top just so they didn't feel dried out. And I loved it, it was very, very nice. Next in the box is the shadow paint and this is a cream eyeshadow. So this says, blue eyeshadow is back. Vanessa Hudgens and Chloe Grace Moretz are just some celebrities rocking blue eyes right now. We are loving this midnight blue cruelty-free eyeshadow from, is it Trina? It's like three Eno. Highly pigmented, long lasting and waterproof. It's perfect whether you want a striking look or something more subtle. Apply with an angled brush to line your upper and lower lash line or apply all over the eyelid for a super bold look. So I actually applied this as a base for the eyeshadow that I've got on today. I think if you wear it on its own, it looks a little bit more subtle, but once you pair it with another eyeshadow on top, it really helps it to grab on and make the color pop. I've not tried it as an eyeliner, um, but I think you probably would need a couple of coats to make it look quite opaque once it's on because it is quite a thin formula. Um, it's very nice, it's a very interesting product. I like the little tube, it reminds me of um, actual paints which I think is quite quirky but yeah I really like this product and it would also be great for a dark black or brown smoky eye you can use it as a base so you don't have to just stick to blue if you use this product you can use it as a base for other darker products as well. Next in the box is something that is super super cute and it's what is right here on my face and this is the Ink Me Stamp Tattoo and what's different about this, this is from Rimmel by the way, what's different about this is that it's a little love heart stamp so you can just stamp it onto your face you can stamp it wherever you want I suppose and it gives you this perfect little black love heart which is super cute and super long lasting too I thought at first that this was just um, a felt liner which I would have been happy with I really like felt liners but once I saw it was a little love heart I thought that was so cute Next in the box is a product from Kaleido Cosmetics and this is called Astrolite See From Space Highlighter. When they say that this is a highlighter you can see from space, they ain't lying. It really is extremely bright, extremely popping. 
trying to be down with the kids. I teach younger girls makeup in school sometimes and I'm sure they think I'm ancient. They think it's really funny if I say the words on fleek or brows on fleek or highlights popping and things like that. They'll probably think, oh, look at that old lady trying to be really cool. <laughs> Anyway, this is the highlighter. It's a gorgeous golden colour. This would look stunning on your chest with a tan. I think that would look absolutely beautiful. I've used the tiniest bits on my cheeks today, so you can't really see it very much because I'd already put my foundation on and set it with quite a bit of powder because it's very hot today and I knew that I was going to be filming. Um, so I've only put a tiny amount of this on my cheeks, but believe me, this is a super, super sparkly it's not sparkly at all this is super shiny and bright i will show you this in the cutaway anyway so you can see what it looks like um but it says be as subtle or vibrant as you fancy with this illuminating eight hour highlighter from the fun and fearless kaleido cosmetics we love that it's 100 percent cruelty free vegan friendly and smells gorgeous too dab onto the high points of your face using a beauty blender or brush for more natural illumination mix a few dabs with your foundation glosses let's gleam and glow beautiful color beautiful product can't wait to use this more next in the box is something else that really excites me which is also from rimmel and this is the metallic sticker tattoo and it's also from the ink me range these are amazing for summertime you can use them as little temporary tattoos that look really really cool if you're going to like a garden party a barbecue a festival they are so nice so oh this one's on the back as well which i didn't realize so these ones are um yeah, these ones work like the ones that you used to get when you were like a kid, if you ever got those. So it says, remove the clear sheet, press the decorated side onto your skin facing down, press a wet cloth firmly against the tattoo and hold for 30 seconds. Slowly peel back the paper, checking that the design has transferred, and then pat gently with a wet cloth. So excited to try these. I love anything like this. I just need an occasion to wear them to now. The last thing in the box is also something that makes me super happy and this is the Party Party Let's Pre-Glam Perfecting Sheet Mask with Hyaluronic Acid. So this is the one from Victoria's Secret from Pink. If you know me, you know that I love sheet masks and I also love hyaluronic acid. It's extremely nourishing. Not the kind of acid that's going to burn your face or damage your skin, anything like that. It's the kind of acid that is super nourishing and hydrating. I haven't opened this yet because I've been waiting for an occasion to try it or, well, I just wanted to show you it on the video as well because the packaging is pretty cool. Um, but no doubts, I will be wearing this tonight once I've taken all of this off. So that brings me to the end of my unboxing for the Pride Glossy Box. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also please subscribe if you are new because I would love to have you on board. I have missed talking to you all so much. I didn't do a favourites video at the end of July because to be honest, the views on the favourites videos aren't so great and I'm wondering if people don't really enjoy those kind of videos anymore. Sometimes the opinion's a bit divided. Let me know what you think. If you would like to see favourites videos, then I will still make them. Um, if you don't, then I will just make a favourites video every few months or something. I don't know, let me know your thoughts because I want to put out content that you want to watch and I don't want to just film something for the sake of doing it every month. So if you want to see them every few months, let me know if you're not bothered about them also let me know your feedback is appreciated also let me know any other sorts of videos that you would like to see I'm aware that I haven't done many vlogs for quite a while and um, this is something that I'm working on doing I've just been super super busy but I'm going to get a new camera soon so I will be able to do more vlogs and yes I'm hoping to do makeup tutorials at some point soon as well so let me know what you want to see basically and I will work on it <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!